Hello and welcome back to another video. Now, um, anyone who watches my channel will know I'm a, a sucker for a VHS tape. I love watching old movies on the old format, even though the quality is not as good. There's just something nostalgic for me about watching these, especially with a with a cathode ray. I don't know what it is, but um, I, I just love it. So I'll keep pushing the format. Anyway, I had a few in. I was checking them over and then I did a short, uh, just demonstrating a couple of the buttons on a VHS tape, because most people know about one, although fewer and fewer these days but not everyone knows about the second one. So the first one is this button here on the side, which essentially allows the, uh, it's designed for the, to protect the film that's in there, but when it goes into the machine, the machine will open it up and then obviously take the film out. But that is an option if um, you've got any snagging or something like that, you can access the tape manually yourself. The other one that a lot of people forget about is this kind of secret one here that's hidden away. That's actually a flap covering uh, the gear mechanism down here. Uh, between the two spools so when it's um, just in its normal position you can't rotate these but should your tape mechanism jam up maybe it's been sat for a while what you can do is just depress that down which goes into the gears and then that then allows you to as you can see to rotate the mechanism now titanic's quite stiff but there we go you can see you can see the spool the spools turning go back this way again so it allows you to do that and then once you let go that's that's it then locked again in place now this one is going to get thrown away because actually despite it me um freeing it up it it's um keeps locking up a number of times so i thought i'd take the opportunity just to open up the uh, the vhs and show you what that mechanism uh, is actually doing in there for those who are interested so with most vhs's you're looking for five screws one two three four five um, some of them then also have kind of a security one that's kind of a, a different shape or, or welded in to stop you getting inside. This one's okay though. Now, usually I like to just use a manual screwdriver so I get a bit of feedback, but because this one's going in the bin and for the speed of the video, I'm just gonna use this. Right, so now we'll take a look inside. Uh, so your best thing to do is open it kind of this way up because then the tape will sit on top of those. There's actually plastic uh, above, above the spools. So just easing it open. Obviously it's gonna be around the uh, the front arms as well. So you can, you're just gonna ease it off, the, off there as well. So that's just your opening part. Now this is the, this is what we're um, this is the mechanism we're actually moving when we push down through that hole there. So what what we're doing is in essence pushing this down, and as you can see, that then just operates very simplistically. It just pushes these arms down here on these springs, which then releases these sections here from the teeth of the reels down here. So yeah, all you've really got in there is just a giant, it's almost just a giant version of a tape cassette player with um, your film around these spools, both just running along like that. I mean, this that would be around there with a cog mechanism in the middle. It is as simple as that. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a deeper dive into what the inside of a cassette player looks like. Uh, sorry, a VHS uh, cassette looks like. Uh, if you have, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And until the next one, all the best. Take care and see you.